there is one main thing that sets successful dropshipping stores apart from those that fail, and that's selling a winning product. If you're just starting out fresh, chances are you're feeling just like I did back in the day, totally swamped with too much information and too many tools that don't really seem to get you anywhere. It's overwhelming and I totally get it. But here's the thing, there's actually a clear path through all that confusion. In this video, I'm gonna lay it all out for you in the simplest way possible. No crazy terminology, no beating around the bush, just straightforward to the point exactly as I would've wanted it if I was starting out. Because only four years ago, I was right to where many of you are now. A typical college student, no clear path, no job, but then one single product changed everything for me and it changed my life for the better. So what I'm sharing today is exactly what I did to turn things around and what I've seen work for my students who are building successful dropshipping brands from scratch. And if you're someone who is building from scratch, make sure to use my Shopify partner link below to get Shopify for only $1 for the next three months instead of paying $39 a month. And you know we're all about being efficient and saving money on this channel, so might as well take advantage while it lasts. As we get right into this, the most important thing when it comes to finding a winning product is understanding what a winning product is entirely. So we're going to cover a specific criteria and a checklist that you can use whenever you're thinking about selling any product. The checklist we'll run through consists of the following. Logistic compliance, wow factor, content creation, audience and community. First one is logistic compliance. And this one is most of the time, actually believe it or not, overlooked but it is so important. So you wanna think about the weight, the dimensions, and the overall logistics of the product. Is it easy and cost-effective to ship? Because I remember selling a product and going crazy with it, I was making a lot of money, but the product itself was so heavy that the shipping fee was ridiculous since you're charged by the kilogram of weight. And at the time I was shipping it from China to the US and from the US to each individual customer, which made the shipping logistics almost not even worth it. You can also ask yourself, can you offer competitive pricing without compromising on the quality? Because remember in drop shipping, efficient logistics make or break your business. Next is wow factor and there are two forms of it problem solving wow factor and visual wow factor. On one hand, ask if your product solves a specific problem in a unique or innovative way. This is about the practicality and offering a solution to someone's problem that makes them think, I actually need this. Then there is visual wow factor. Does your product stand out with its design or have an eye-catching feature? A product that visually wows can instantly create curiosity and grab attention making it worth sharing, which then leads to potentially going viral. So basically your product should do more than just exist. It should trigger an immediate reaction. Then we're on to content creation. This is basically about making your product stand out by telling its story. And as you've probably already found out, just having a good product is not enough. You need to make it interesting and get people excited about it. Think about how you can show off your product. Can you make cool user generated content or TikToks and Instagram reels that show what makes the product so special? Your job is to tell a story that makes people feel a connection. This could be through showing how it fits into their everyday life, sharing stories from happy customers, or just showing off what makes it cool or fun. And my main point here is to get people to feel something about your product, make them want it, make them think it's cool, make them see how it could be a part of their life. And if your product is something that people want to talk about and share with others, then you are definitely gonna be on the right track. And last but not least, onto audience and community. And you can imagine this, like picking the perfect gift for a friend. You know their likes, you know their dislikes, and what makes them happy. Just like choosing that gift, you need to find a product that's just right for a specific group of people. Think about who would love the product. Is it something that sports fans will go crazy for? Or maybe it's an ideal item for people who are into fashion or people that are passionate about anime and cosplay. It's not only about what you sell, but also about understanding and relating to the people who will buy it. Because when you find a product that resonates with a certain group of people, they become more than just customers. They become supporters who are excited about what you offer and cannot wait for the very next product release, meaning an increased lifetime value per customer, more money. All right, now that this criteria has hopefully been ingrained into the million dollar question, how do we find a winning product? The first research method is utilizing a tool called AutoDS and searching within their TikTok spy tool, which allows you to see videos on TikTok that are product-based. And I just think it's super useful since most of the products we plan to sell will be advertised using short form platforms anyway. Let me show you exactly what I mean right now. All right, so here is the TikTok spy tool. And from here, it's really cool because it's gonna showcase all the product-based ads that are on TikTok and it's gonna give us this entire database where we can use these filters, right? So I could filter by the amount of likes, I filter by the call to action button, 
shop now, the impressions, a certain amount of impressions. Uh, and then the source, I'd go in organic or only advertising, people that are paying money, and then the interaction rate, as well as go in and type in specific keywords. So I could type in something like hat, and then it's gonna show me all of the product-based videos on TikTok that are selling a hat. So super cool stuff. Uh, I could also do something like this. Let's just go in and say hair, for example. It's gonna show me all the product base of videos that are involving hair. So I could, let's say I'm interested in this video right here. I could hit the shop now tab. I have all the analytics of this post and then I could shop now. It's gonna direct me to the product page of this specific product. So that's really cool. And then I could also see the original post and then from there, locate the actual account that is running this video. So we can see that it's this girl, that's probably a UGC creator that is doing a sponsored post for this account right here. So yeah, super useful product research tool. That's it for the first one. Let's get on to the second product research method. You know, the next product research method I wanna share with you is probably something that you've been doing already without even realizing its potential. And that's using your social media feeds to search for viral product-based ads and sponsored product ads. If you notice a video of a product popping up a bunch and getting a lot of engagement, it could be a hint that it's in demand because these viral trends are a clear signal of what's catching people's attention and what they're interested in. What you're looking for in these videos is the engagement rate. So the likes, the comments, and the shares, because it's a strong indicator of interest and potential market demand. And you can imagine that if these viral videos are embedded with a shop now link or a link to the brand's website within their bio, that means that people that are interested enough have the opportunity to easily click through and make a purchase. So these people can do it, why can't you do the same? Well, what's great is that these ads can also inspire your own marketing strategies. They can give you all kinds of different ideas, when you're actually ready to start running ads or creating content, try and get traffic. Both of these product research methods are effective and I won't be comparing one over the other, but I would recommend using both of them intermittently throughout the day and see what performs best for you. But now onto the fun part, because right now, I'm gonna be looking for products live on the spot with you guys using the two product research strategies I just explained, and I've only got 10 minutes to find something that fits all the criteria. Start the timer. I'm gonna be using, like I said, this TikTok spy tool. The way that we can start, let's just go in broad and then uh, we'll go with impressions over, let's go fifth over 50K impressions. It doesn't have to be over 20K likes. And then this can be all sources, so organic and paid. So let's try and find something. Let's see, anything interesting? And no. Dang, that's pretty cool. Bro, there's no freaking link I just That's actually a really good, I mean, this is two, one minute, less than one minute in. I, that's crazy. That looks like a really solid part and that's a really good ad. 150K impressions, 19,000 likes. Let's go ahead and look at the original post. And then we're also gonna get product info of this right here. Water re repellent and stain resistant t-shirt for adults and kids. This, we could be onto something. This is actually a really, really good ad. So you should click the link in this video. So this guy's, this is a TikTok shop video eligible for commission. That's how you know it's a TikTok shop. So this guy gets a commission on every single sale that he gets. Pat Pat, go on, eat. So this is the main account right here. Let's see if they're mainly focusing on that product, but let's go in and hit their shop now tab and just see where this directs us. Yo, this is my cookie, not your
Damn, so this is the stain resisting shirt that they're selling. Only $16.99, wow. This is a really cool product. And that ad is fire. This is a really good one. I don't know if we can beat this. So let's go through the process of how I would start to vet this product right here. So I'm just gonna head into AliExpress really quick and just see what the margins and the logistics look like for this product. So let's go stain, stain resistant t-shirt. So we're gonna see that there are different kinds. All right, so yeah, this listing looks pretty good. I mean, generally I'm gonna look at the one that has the most units sold. Uh, for this exact unit, it looks like it's probably this one, 148 sold. And then it has all the sizes, uh, $7.91 per unit. And then the shipping is $1.17 with the tracking available option. That's pretty good. So the logistics of this don't look bad at all. So yeah, you'd imagine that a thin t-shirt isn't going to be heavy so logistically i think it checks off the criteria so we're good with that and then as far as the wow factor of this product i think that this product has very clear wow factor i mean just based off of the video right here it went very viral and this guy did a good job of showcasing the product he also did a good job of voicing the wow factor right because clearly i would say that this card has problem solving wow factor and visual wow factor visual wow factor clearly when he pours the uh drink right over just like that so that's visual wow factor it's definitely something that you, you don't see every day on a normal t-shirt and it's also solving a problem because i mean i guess some people they spill stuff on their shirts quite often and this is completely eliminating that problem because it's not going to stain your shirt so it's a stain resistant shirt super cool so checks off wow factor as well the next thing is content creation and this product as we just seen right here it's got unlimited potential to create content right so we can see that this guy did an amazing job of showcasing this product and was able to retain the viewer up to 60 seconds right so a 60 second video he's storytelling he's telling people why they need to buy this product. And because of that, right, that resulted in 19,600 likes, 2,000 shares, and probably a lot of sales. And then as far as community, I would say that this product is somewhat general, but you could potentially narrow down to a specific group of people. Maybe you want to only market to people that are into fitness or you know people that are into fashion. So. I think this also has a niche that you could potentially narrow down into. And we literally found this in less than five minutes. I'm not even kidding. This is live. You guys just see me. I scrolled down how many, <laughs> let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Within the first minute, we found something that looks like it has a lot of potential. We vetted it. It checks off all the criteria. I'm pretty happy. So I personally think that this is a great product to test and it's got a lot of potential as well as specifically clothing has a higher perceived value. So the unit price right here is $7.96. I think you can definitely get that lower once you start selling more units. And then you could probably sell this product, I don't know, somewhere around $25, $30 because it does have a pretty solid value proposition to offer the customers because this isn't something that you see on a normal basis. Now, some tips for using you know, some of these product research methods. What I would recommend is using the filters. Now, if I am on my Instagram feed and you know I'm looking for potential winning products, what you could do is use a VPN, which will allow you to be in a different location. So if you're in Europe and you could you know, turn on a US VPN somewhere in Los Angeles or Florida or New York, and you're gonna to start to see different ads. So we can see right here, this is even one ad that's popped up for me. This, I don't think this is a drop shippable product, but this is essentially what you're looking for. So what I would do here in this case is I would like this uh, video. I would hit the shop now tab. If you want, you could even add to cart, put your email in, and then you're gonna notice that you're gonna see more and more ads that are product based. Right, so I could go ahead from here and then just refresh, continuing to search another product base ad, continuing to search. And so this looks like another product base ad. 
it's for pets. And so maybe if the VPN isn't working for you, then you could create another account or you could use a family member's account. And obviously because that person has different interests than you, then you're gonna see different types of ads. So you're gonna see that my feed is a lot of surfing. Right, so because there is a lot of surfing, I'm gonna see some ads that correspond with the surfing community. So here is another product based ad and this just looks like it's covers for your home. So, you know, what I could do is I could like it, learn more, and then over time, you're gonna start seeing more and more product based ads that are similar to this. And yeah, it just takes time. I would say do it intermittently throughout the day. Don't just sit down for 10 hours a day and just look for products. I'd say if you have time in the morning, if you have time in the evening and then at night to search intermittently, interchangeably between these two product research methods. All right, so that's pretty much how it that looks when I'm betting certain products and trying to determine whether product X versus product X will be worth my time. I try my best to keep it as straightforward as possible and easy to follow. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. See you guys in the next video. Peace.